as if I had spoke about sending troops and people as opposed to using weapons, would we have gotten a lo uh, lower answer? I think we probably would have. Um, we talked about military action. Um, that's obviously ambiguous, but I think it speaks to a general mindset rather than specific policy prescriptions. Lewis? A very good question. You know, I, yes, I'm sorry. The qu it's a very good question, which is, do the findings play to the strengths of any presidential candidate? Look, it's absolutely the, clear that in the Democratic primary, you, the, the answers of Democrats would probably, uh, if anything, underestimate the degree of anti-war sentiment that exists. And similarly, in the Republican primary, the degree of hawkishness and support for the president's policy. Uh, w w would also be amplified. But in terms of the general election, what I came away with was a sense that um, there is certainly vulnerability for the Republicans for the failure of U.S. policy, but also vulnerability for the Democrats if they uh, adopt what I would consider sort of a neo-isolationist foreign policy that doesn't recognize the threats we face. What the American people are looking for is really a practical, pragmatic approach that says, look, we're going to be uh, multilateral in our approach. We're prepared to compromise, but we're not prepared to jeopardize our security. We don't, we don't really want to take unilateral, unilateral action unless we have to, but if we do, we will. Me, yes, sir. How significant do you think the president, the current president, and perhaps the future president is in the American people's view toward foreign policy and our involvement? My sense is enormously important. I think the American people are, as I suggested, practical, pragmatic, and they react to the success or failure of the policy. They're angry at George Bush. They think he's failed. They don't think that he's succeeded, not so much from the position of the Democratic left, which would be, you know, let's withdraw and let's retreat. Their position is sort of, it hasn't worked. We haven't achieved our objectives. He hasn't succeeded. Some people object from the left. Some people object from the right. And I think the American people are looking for new leadership, but I don't think that leadership necessarily is dramatically different in terms of the outcome people uh, are seeking. They're just seeking a president who produces a, a different and arguably better result and outcome, so we're less isolated and less uh, insecure. Any other questions? Yes, sir. I'm going to shift back to domestic for a second. Sure. Um, last year, you talked about affordability. I did. And said that if politicians weren't addressing affordability, they were missing the boat. Right. And that there were three, basically three things that people cared about. Um, being able to retire, being able to afford health care, and being able to send their kids to college. I did. And that there was a sort of breakdown in the compact that uh, right. people thought they had, that if they worked hard, played by the rules, then they should be able to do those things. Have you seen anything different in the last year since uh, that poll was released? Yeah, I, you know, it's a very, very good question. I, I, and, I, I, and what I would say is I think there's been recognition in the political class that the issues that we saw uh, in that poll uh, are, are, are ones that need to be taken up. I mean, the, the DLC called uh, their initiative, you know, a Restoring the American Dream initiative, and I think politicians have recognized that those issues are out there. The, I haven't seen practical success in terms of policy initiatives that have been enacted, and I think if you look at the ratings that Congress is getting now in the polls that are done, they're as low, if not lower, than the president's, I think because of a sense that we're not achieving success on those domestic initiatives. And what is common, and I, and I would take both from the theme of the uh, Ideas Festival and indeed the, the, the two polls we've done, is a crying desire for bipartisanship in the formulation of policy to respond to people's needs. It's not five-point immigration programs that people are looking for. It's how do I reunite my family and how do I find a way to become a citizen rather than playing political games by responding to political bases. And I say that not to suggest that one policy is right and another is wrong, but people on the left and the right are equally frustrated that people cannot come together to find common ground. And I would say, in general answer to your question, the problem is arguably worse now than it was last year.